Hi everybody, this is Cheryl with Stonehouse Lavender and Stonehouse Barn. I just wanted to hop on here real quick and I had a little tip. Um, sometime when I was down at the barn I was painting and apparently I got it on my pants and I didn't know I did and um, when I came in and sat on the couch, we have a leather couch, um, apparently it was on my couch and it's now on the seat of my car. Um, and it's leather seat, so I watched a video of a guy, and I can't remember now who it was, but, um, he gave a tip of using the citral. So I'm going to do a little test here. I'm going to leave the camera in place. I'm going to spray a little bit of this on a rag. Do a tiny little corner just to see if it comes off. And it is coming off slowly. Let me pour a little bit more on here. I'm scared to put it directly onto the seat. It is coming off. Wow. Make sure it's not damaging the leather. It has a very fresh citrus smell. This stuff is um, if you can see the can citral. Um, my husband used it. Uh, Mark he used it on our leather couch, and it worked great. So let me try to set this back up here. And spray a little bit more just to see oh yeah yep it's coming off all right so I would think it smells so good so there we go you can see let's try to get this back you can see that that corner did come off I need to do a lot more working but yep that's my tip use citral if you get leather on or if you get paint on anything and it takes it off and it's safe and it hasn't damaged the leather so props to me all right thanks bye bye hi guys so i'm just getting back on here um i found the youtube channel that i got the original idea from it is dallas paint correction and auto detailing um there where i got the idea from and it works so there you go thanks